Welcome back, everyone, to Hogwarts Legacy. We're back with the original Kyle Blaine. Now, boy, this scene is just choppy every time, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Oh, good. We haven't missed the sorting ceremony. I'm no expert, but that seems more appropriate. Ooh. Now, I need to study this locket as soon as I can, but first I must contact the Ministry. They I'm... need to know what happened to George and be warned of Ranrock. Yeah. For the moment, I ask that you keep all that's happened this evening between you and me. Of course, sir. Thank you. Ready for the sorting ceremony? I bet what slows it down there is it's loading all of the people in here, is just my guess. Oh, the music is on point. I love it. Phineas, Nigellus, Black. Mm. Prepare yourself to meet the headmaster. Fig, nice of you to join us. The sorting ceremony is over. <gasps> there were complications. Complications? It seems the goblin Enough. problem has... Goblins. I've no time for rumors, Fig, <laughs> and I'm rapidly losing whatever patience I had left. If you're lucky, we might still be able to get you sorted this evening. Th thank you, Headmaster. <clears throat> they they have him touch. pretty spot on. Really? Yeah, because he's a portrait in Sirius's house. Oh, okay. He's like Sirius's like great uncle or something. Woo! All these characters chugging. Professor Weasley, we've one more to be sorted. Welcome. You're just in time. Have a seat. Oh boy. Oh boy. I'm assuming you're going to be your house that you're on. Uh, yeah. It's pro uh, well. I don't. I don't know if it lets me choose or if it does what I am on part of. Part ah, of. yes. A bit older than the others, aren't you? You come here with preferences and preconceptions. Certain expectations. Hmm. Uh, I can't wait to start classes. I can't wait to explore. Oh, geez. <laughs> oh, I know what I should probably say for Ravenclaw, but it's really I can't wait to explore. But I feel like Ravenclaw would be classes, right? Well, but just pick what you I'm gonna pick. want. I'm going to pick. I'm going to make it be Ravenclaw, though. I'm looking forward Regardless. to exploring Hogwarts and the world beyond the castle and grounds. Hmm. Indeed. Much can be gleaned by having an adventurous spirit. But your professors have a great deal to teach you as well. Hmm. You're clever indeed. You have the ability to reflect clearly on that which puzzles others. And you've a ready mind, quick to learn. Perhaps you belong in Ravenclaw. That's so awesome that it pulls in my stuff from Pottermore. <laughs> That's awesome. And I could choose a different one if I want, but why would I want a different house? We know Ravenclaw's best house. Hey. It, hey. It's Huffle true. Puff is. <laughs> Bunch of losers. I'm kidding. Um, <laughs> except house. You belong in Ravenclaw. Darn tootin' I belong in Ravenclaw. Thank you, Professor Weasley. Or head mistress. Depu deputy mistress? Deputy mistress. Sorry. Oh, Black is the head mistress. Headmaster. <laughs> Due to the unfortunate injury on the pitch in last spring's final, this year's Quidditch season has been cancelled. Boo. Enough! That's it's not mean. as though I've banned flying altogether, but don't tempt me. I love how much of a you meta commentary that is. You are here to focus on your academic Because they didn't futures. program it into the game. I'm sure you will have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. I don't want to go to class. I said, I'm sure you all have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. Quick. 
quite an entrance. It's lovely to meet you. I'm... Professor Weasley, would you be so kind as to show our new student to their common room? I shall see to it, sir. As I was saying, I'm Professor Weasley. Pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you as well, Professor. As Deputy Headmistress, it is my distinct honor to show you to your common room. Right this way. Thank you. It's quite uncommon for a student to begin as a fifth year. Might be a bit of a challenge, but one I'm sure you're up for. I am, Professor. This is the entrance to the Ravenclaw common room. You must solve a riddle to enter. I won't be of much help, I'm afraid. This sort of thing has always confounded me. Who lived longer? The ghost or the poltergeist? A ghost or a poltergeist? Hmm. A non-being can never have been. I'm so smart. Look at me be so smart. I hope next time it makes you come up with the answer. Well done. Like from a list now, of oh, yeah. Go answers. On in you got to choose the right sleep. one. That'd be cool. You have a big day ahead of you tomorrow. I shall be back in the morning to collect you for your first class. I will Thank be you, Professor Weasley. Watching this video back to see I the hope answer. you enjoy your first night at Hogwarts. Sleep well. No, but it changes every time. It's a different riddle every time. Every time. Oh. Yeah. It's your Ravenclaw. You got to be smart. I didn't sign up for that. <laughs> Wait, what did you say? You said, darn tootin' I belong in Ravenclaw or something like that. I, 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 I me, gone. me in the game. That's Why the is corner. his hood, like, sticking out <laughs> like that? <laughs> uh, there is, um, I saw something on, oh, it's probably not in there. Oh, I don't know how to get to it yet. Is I inventory? No, I is not inventory. There's a way to toggle your hood on and off. Oh, there is. That's yep. cool. I don't. I don't know where yet. The game. The game hasn't taught me yet. It, it's soon enough. Yeah. Oh yeah. So uh, this is technically the next day, and Emily has played her character a lot longer than I have. Okay. So the thing is, I had to go back to work today, and today is the first day in over a week that I have not had a nap. And what I was, magical mirror is this. I was exhausted. And so she skipped I church got home. I couldn't have gone. I didn't want to be coughing around everybody. Anyways, I was coughing so much tonight. Um, but I mean, you can hear it in my voice. Like I've been talking all day, unfortunately. So I'm my voice is just about done. Sorry, guys. Um, all right. So I know I need to go up, but. Oh, is that another room? Oh, don't Ooh. go into someone else's room. That's rude. There's something back there. I see it. It's there. It's in another room. I don't know. Yeah, it's in another room. There's secret doors. You can see through floors and stuff, too. I'm, I'm telling you all things. Um, but anyway, so I had to stay awake. Because if I fell asleep this late, I would have just been miserable because then I wouldn't have been and able to get back. And then I got home and I was ready to record and she just kept on playing. Well, I didn't think we were going to start because <laughs> the kids were awake. <laughs> Sorry. Rebellion. <laughs> that seems like an awful spell to um, use in here. Yeah. <laughs> That's... This is... Oh, this makes me so happy. You can wait. There was an. Egg. I know, but it went away. There it is. I had to look oh, up a little bit. No, I saw it, but it went away. I know. I, you just didn't see it at so that it, second. So in most in most games, to flush the toilet, you look down at the toilet. Mm. But in this one, you got to look up so that you grab the chain. Okay. Sorry, I'm just gonna explore a little. See, this is why we explore. Oh, I didn't realize I could right click and. Okay, cool. We'll get to that. Oh, man. That's a level Rebellion. three lock. There's another one. See, I guarantee you there's a secret door here somewhere. 
I mean, there, okay, there is another room on the other side of the wall. But still, there are secret doors. <laughs> you can also, like, see through floors. And uh -huh. that's super annoying. I stood there, like, trying to find something for, like, <laughs> a good ten minutes. And then I was like, oh, it's on a different floor. It was on a different floor. <laughs> this should be interesting. I suppose some introductions are in order. All right, introduce yourself to Everett. Hi, Everett. One moment. Watch this. <laughs> what is this? Someone threw a dumb box. <laughs> Let's get out of here. That wasn't quite the reaction I wanted. Oh, well. What did right. you think was going to happen? What did happen? you hope would happen? <laughs> I suppose I hoped it would lighten the mood. Ravenclaws can be a bit on edge the first day of class. I'm Everett, by the way. You seem downright calm next to some of these characters. And you survived a rather harrowing trip here. Oh, good. Oh, dialogue choices. Okay, I was wondering if we were going to have much of this. Uh, I'm looking forward to my first day. I'm actually... No, I'm looking forward to my first day. I'm glad to be here. Ready for classes to start. Good. Glad to hear it. Truly, there's no reason to be nervous. Most professors are firm, but fair. I mean, not all of the tricks I play are as simple as a tossed dung bomb, and I'm still here. Wait, did you say most okay, professors so are fun, like but fair? Ha, I did. But probably best I let oh, you yeah. judge for yourself. I do tend to push their limits. I should wander off before someone traces that dung bomb back to me. <laughs> nice meeting you. You too, Everett. Yeah, because no one anywhere saw you do that. <laughs> okay, so there was a little hiccup in the recording uh, just a second ago. I'm going to tweak some more settings. Sorry to keep doing this, but this is kind of the way it goes with brand new games before they get patched. Uh, so I'll be right back. Alrighty, let's find Amit. Amit. Excuse me. Excuse me. I wanted to go down there, maybe. <laughs> Who are you? All right. Amit. Oh, books are moving. So cool. They're putting themselves away. That's so nice. Why, hello. Would you like to take a look? Can't see too much in the day. Well, except for stars like Sirius, Canopus, Vega, and Arcturus. I'm Amit. Pleasure to have you in Ravenclaw. Never met someone who's been so close to a dragon before. Can't <laughs> say I'd recommend it, frankly. <laughs> It's nice to meet you, Amit. <laughs> I take it you like astronomy. Oh, yes. So much to be learned from the stars. Also, there's something about the open air and night sky above the tower. It's invigorating. You will adore astronomy. Professor Shaw is incredibly knowledgeable. Uh, I find stars uh, I've never been one for stargazing. I'm afraid I'm not much for memorizing constellations. Enough to worry about on the ground. Literally well, my thoughts. You should know that all fifth years must take astronomy. However, I think you will feel differently after one night up on the tower. A quality telescope can show you things you never dreamed of. I suppose I'll see you in class then. Yes. Oh, and speaking of class, better get to my first one of the year. Nothing like the smell of fresh parchment, is there? <laughs> Be seeing you. Nerd. I was going to say, I do love getting new pens. <laughs> Maybe I should be a Ravenclaw. Yeah, maybe you should be a Ravenclaw. Uh, I'm going to tweak one thing that I thought about. A lot of times recording is better if you're playing at the uh, frame rate that you're recording at. Uh, and in case any nerds are run wondering, I just, I just, I had a lot, uh, this was set to high. I just decided we're going to set it to medium for now until maybe we get some patches for performance because I know my system can handle it handily on high, at least if not ultra, but it's a new game. Right either. Ooh, an apple. I want an apple. You sure Julia's up to the task? Julia is up to the task, all right? She's Ravenclaw, too. All right, Samantha. No, I'm definitely a Hufflepuff. Like, I have, I may have I Ravenclaw want him tendencies. I to be in the perfect but... place. A place he'll be happy with. But I can't seem to find it. Great golden gobstones. I want him to thrive here. Golden gobstones? <laughs> My own little expression. I bought this Dittany seedling from home, and I so want him to feel cozy. Dittany is amazing, isn't it? So much healing power in such a little plant. <laughs> I have a bit of a thing for plants, as you can see. Really? 
Pleased to meet you. I'm Samantha. Nice to meet you, Samantha. She's a loony. Is Disney used in Wigan World Potion? It is. Looks like someone's been studying up on their potion making. Actually, Professor Fig told me about the Wigan World Potion. Of course. I heard you were studying with him before term. He's an enigma, Fig. Teaches about theory. It seems to know a lot about practical magic. Uh, he is. Yeah, he's quite knowledgeable. Professor Fig does know a great deal about um, different forms of magic. Well, I hope he told you about more than Wig and Weld. You've lots to catch up on, I'm sure. Uh, uh, isn't it Hufflepuffs who like plants? An affinity for herbology is more typical of a Hufflepuff than a Ravenclaw, no, isn't it? Ordinarily, perhaps. But it runs in my family. We've a full plot of these little fellows back home. I suppose you could say herbology is in my roots. <laughs> <laughs> Do most students grow their own ingredients? Is it common practice for students to grow their own ingredients? Oh, yes. In fact, our herbology teacher, Professor Garlic, encourages <laughs> it. Professor and I don't Garlic. think Professor Sharp, our potions master, cares where you get your ingredients as long as your brews are all perfect. All right, nice talking to you. It was nice to meet you, Samantha. Good luck with your Dittany. Thank you. And good luck to you too on your first that day. That voice was the right pick. I like it. You think so? Yeah. Uh, I also, can we talk about, like, these voice actors are great, and I saw stuff online, people complained about the facial animations. These face animations are great. There's, there was one where, like, it was just weird, and it, maybe it's the background people they're talking about, because, like, May, oh, maybe. they're not as big of a deal. Um, but there was one where, like, they were talking after class as two people, and, like, it looked like they were, like, stomping on a bug or something. It was the <laughs> weirdest thing. And I was like, um, really? Yeah, this is Emily's, this has been fascinating, actually. This is not only Emily's first time, like, really playing a PC game, other than Minecraft, but, like, also her first time playing a game. World of Warcraft. Oh, and World of Warcraft. That was a long time ago. I love but like, that a, game. but specifically playing a brand new game. Oh yeah, I've never played a new game. Like, especially on PC. Like, consoles a little bit different. At least back in the day. Now we all there's a thing now, M, called a day one patch. Almost every game comes with it. Mm. All right, so we're oh down downstairs. Okay, this is so pretty. Yeah, your common room is really pretty. Mine is more like wood. A wood oh, okay. feel. Yeah. But yours is in a tower. I'm pretty sure Ravenclaw is in a tower. Good morning. I trust you're ready for your first day at Hogwarts? I've been dreaming of this day for a long time. Can't believe I'm here. Well, you are here. Make the most of it. You only have one first day at Hogwarts. Now, in light of your unique situation, joining us as a fifth year, you'll need to catch up with your classmates and not fall behind. Especially as you'll be expected to complete your OWLs at the end of the year. OWLs? Owls? Yes, your ordinary wizarding level exams. They will determine what type of career you can have when you leave here. After much discussion with the headmaster and the Department of Magical Education at the Ministry, we've devised something extraordinary to ensure your success. Who? Here you are. What is it? It is a wizard's field guide. It will help you to keep track of what you are learning so that you master all that's expected of a fifth year. You would be wise to take full advantage of this exceptionally valuable resource. Thank you, Professor, but what do you mean it will keep track of what I'm learning? Perhaps seeing it in action will answer any questions you may have. Walk with me and we shall put it to the test. Oh my goodness. This may be the best, like, in-game explanation for, like, uh, a character skill sheet type thing. The guide will thing. give you opportunities to practice your magic and educate yourself about wizarding lore. I can't tell if that's an effect or if that's a glitch. 
is is that supposed to be fog? Hold up. I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna turn the fog graphics. There's no way that's what medium fog looks like. There's no way. Okay, let's go with the high. I don't even like the high that much. Yeah, they the effects in this room are not they need to be tweaked. Alright. Sorry, Professor. I certainly would have appreciated something like the field guide when I was a student. Why don't you cast Revelio on this bust and see Revelio. what details the field guide can provide? Good. I wanted to know who this was. <laughs> Ravenclaw bust. Guide pages. This bust created in honor of... Of Ravenclaw House resides in the lofty Ravenclaw Tower. But that's not Ravenclaw. Okay. You've just unlocked a field guide challenge. Your progress towards completing challenges appears here. All right. Collect field guide pages in Hogwarts 1 of 2. Field guide, pa uh, field guide challenges are the only way to acquire experience points or XP. Ooh, okay. So escape to open. Okay. Uh, this is your wizarding level. Uh, XP earned from challenges increases your level and power. Your field guide tracks your current challenge progress. Select the challenges menu to collect. Okay. To continue. Or to, to continue. Sorry. I was like, my eyes were leaving it before I was finished reading. Collecting your first guide page. Uh, unlocked a new challenge category. New challenges you unlock throughout your adventure will appear here. Select field guide pages to continue. Combat, quest, exploration, room of requirement. All right. Uh, each challenge has tiers. Special rewards unlock at each tier you complete. From appearances to critical upgrades. Oh, cool. Okay, so this time we're uh. one of two. Collect two field guide pages in Hogwarts. Gear, appear, uh, gear appearance reward Hogwarts. Uh, regalia spectacles. I think I'm saying that right. It's really easy to just get into it. Like I, I did this at first, and then I didn't go back and and do. Oh, and like, click on anything. Click on anything. <laughs> so I probably have a bunch. Um, rewards must be claimed from the challenges menu. Come back often to collect rewards you have unlocked. Oh, we're going back um, up. What are we doing? What are we doing, I Professor? I think she's stuck in a <laughs> loop. <laughs> um, so, honey, let me tell you a little bit about Cyberpunk 2077. This is the sort of stuff you see in Cyberpunk 2077. <laughs> your quest is to follow her. <laughs> I wonder if I can knock her out of it. Yeah, she's she's got a pathfinding bug, all right. Revelio. Snap out of it, Professor! Professor, snap out of it, Professor! Detention, Mr. Blaine. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna go downstairs, and maybe it'll trigger something. She's got to get her steps in. <laughs> She's doing her workout. You're gonna have to. Oh, I'm sure I'm going to have to restart like it, that. but you never know. Besides, maybe I'm not supposed to be able to go down here yet. Oh, no, no, sure not. You're what? about oh, to strike. No, you know what? I want to see what happens. Actually, I do want to see what happens. Let's. Look, we got to test it. I'm not going to die. Ow. Did you just hit the mic? Yes. I thought it was the heartbeat sound in the game, like I was about to die. <laughs> That's You abandoned Professor Weasley. She lost her Quest mind. Failed. She lost her mind. Does that go on your permanent record? I hope so. There we go, Professor. Clever, isn't it? Keep your eyes open for more opportunities like that, inside and outside. Revelio. Oh, good. It, it did it after you did the. Book. Oh yeah, yeah. I've already done the Revelio. Yeah. Yeah. Now, 
No time to waste. You've classes to attend. Well, if you want me to go faster, walk faster. <laughs> I've noticed that when you follow someone, that they um, go at the speed. Yeah, they match your speed. No, you match oh. their speed. Oh, yeah. Well, but if you shift, I found earlier, if you shift to sprint, if they will sprint, they will sprint. If they can oh. sprint, they I will tried sprint. it, and it didn't do anything. Okay, I take it I'm not ready for that yet. Yeah, I couldn't figure that thing out. Oh. Uh... So that one had two question marks. There's another one over there. That one had two question marks and it's a horse. Hold on, hold on, I'm just doing this real quick. Two is a horse, one is, what is that? Harry Potter nerd, what is that? I don't know. <laughs> but I don't know what you're supposed to do with it. It was none of the things I'm seeing here. I know. I oh, it's that thing. Yeah, I don't think that's. I'm not doing this right. Okay, sorry, professor. I'm just trying to apply what I learned. You've been practicing. <laughs> See, she liked it. Ah, good timing. Perfect opportunity to show you how to use flu flames to get around a bit quicker. Your field guide contains a map of the castle. Open it up and find Central Hall. Flu flame sounds like something in a Dr. Seuss book. Uh, okay, you've discovered a flu flame. Uh, fast travel point. Uh, you can open the map at any time to fast travel to any discovered flu flames. Okay, so M for map. Oh, that looks cool. Uh -huh. Hogwarts is divided into two main areas. The left side of the map is where students and professors live and, uh, and includes the house common rooms and the Great Hall. Select the Grand Staircase. Okay. In this view, you can see the flu flames available in that region. Uh, green flu flames represent flames you have discovered including your own house common room. Gray flu flames reveal the location of undiscovered flames. The right side of the map is where you'll find academic points of interest, including the astronomy tower, library, and greenhouses. Select the library annex region flag to continue. Professor Weasley has unlocked the central hall flu flames for you. Use A and D to rotate the map and travel to the central Hall flu flames. Okay. That's a shame there's no animation. Mm. Just a little. Yeah. That would and be nice. here we are. Quite the time saver. These stairs lead directly to Central Hall. Okay. You can get almost anywhere in the castle quickly from Central Hall. Wow. Always Ooh, something happening here. It's the heart of the hive. Oh, Our I didn't King's even notice Cross that. Station, That's so to cool. speak. That should be all for now. You'll be expected to attend both Charms and Defense Against the Dark Arts classes today. And I'd like to be sure you get to Hogsmeade as soon as possible to replace the supplies you lost on the way yes. here. <laughs> uh, can you tell me more about Charms class? What will I learn in Charms class? Exactly what you might expect. Spells, charms, jinxes, all terribly useful. I think you will enjoy Professor Ronan. He's a clever and entertaining wizard and a talented teacher. And uh, Defense Against the Dark Arts? Can you tell me more about the Defense Against the Dark Arts class? Defense Against the Dark Arts, as the name implies, focuses on how to defend oneself against the evils that lurk beyond these walls. A mastery of defense against the dark arts is required for those who aspire to become Auras. Fortunately, we are lucky to have the ever-gifted Professor Hecate in charge of our students' education in that regard. All right, and uh, what's this about Hogsmeade? You mentioned Hogsmeade, Professor. Hogsmeade is the only 
Being all wizarding village in Britain, and is home to an array of shops and pubs, you should be able to find all of the school supplies you require in Hogsmeade. You will also, I imagine, enjoy many a butter beer there with friends in due course. Mm, now I want a hot butter beer. <laughs> that hot butter beer was so good. All right, thank you, Professor. Thank you, Professor Weasley. A lot to absorb on your first day, and you have much to learn. Happily, your professors have agreed to create additional assignments for you outside of class. You'll be up to speed in no time. Judging by your adept use of Revelio earlier, I'd say Professor Fig succeeded in at least showing you the basics. He did, Professor. He's been terribly vague as to the events preceding your arrival, specifically about what happened after that awful dragon attack. My suspicion is that there's more to the story than a search for belongings and an extended trip up to the castle. She's smart. Yeah, um... Uh, I'm not gonna lie. We did take a bit of a detour on the way here. Ended up exploring some ruins and... I shouldn't say more. Exploring ruins? Well, I presume Professor Fig has his reasons for keeping the details to himself for now. Speak of the devil, Professor Fig. Your ears must have been burning. Oh. <laughs> yes, you seem to have provided our new fifth year with a solid foundation in the basics of spellcasting. Ah, I'm afraid I can't take all the credit there, Professor. They've a rare aptitude for magic, it seems. Hmm. Well, I'm just glad you both arrived in one piece. Perfectly good boats and carriages to Hogwarts, and you chose to fly in the path of a dragon. I wouldn't say I chose the dragon's path, Professor. Rather unfortunately, it would seem that it chose us. Very well. Enough chit-chat. I need to get to class myself. Might I rely on you, Professor Fig, to explain the details of the field guide's map? Of course. Thank you. Good luck today. And remember to use your field guide. It will be invaluable to you. Yes, ma'am. And invaluable to me, as I'll be using it to keep up to date on your progress. Yes, Professor. Come and find me Better in my classroom class. after you've attended both classes today, and I'll explain more about those assignments I mentioned. And we'll see if we can't get you to Hogsmeade for those supplies. All right, well, while we're at a breathing point, we're going to call that an end for this episode. And next time we're going to talk to Professor Fig and go to class and hopefully Hogsmeade. We'll see what we can get done. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying it. I'm really enjoying it. And we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Adios. Goodbye.